Was Deion Sanders right or wrong? Let's talk about it on this episode of... The League of Hustlers. I'm your co-host, HT. I'm T.D. Barnes. And today we're going to be discussing a really hot topic right now. It's Deion Sanders. Neon Deion. Mr. Primetime himself has decided, has decided to go to Colorado University after a hell of a ride at JSU, Jackson State University. Right. And so the question is, is he right or is he wrong? Right. Is he right or is he wrong? Is Dion right or is he wrong? <laughs> what do you think? On one hand, you have this cat that is, like I said, Mr. Primetime, you know, an MVP, like turn a whole coaching program around um, and just brought a lot of attention to HBCUs, historically black colleges and universities, right? And showed that it's possible, showed that it was possible for them to play on a competing level as some of these D1 universities, right? Um, and there's just been a lot of reactions, right? And any first thoughts, bro? Um... Yeah, man. I, I mean, I get it. It's one of those things where, you know, uh, somebody leaves your company, your best friend moves to a new city. You know what I mean? Uh, so, you know, you hate to see them go, man, but you have to congratulate people when they're moving up. And that's really all he's doing, man. The guy's graduating to a higher paying position, um, you know, it's a career move for him you know what i mean yeah. i think he did his part man he put on for the city he put on for hbcus um you know <laughs> was so, he so, right huh? so 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 let's let's play a clip let's play a clip it, man, this is him talking to his his squad right um at jsu this is him you know first telling him uh, everything that's been transpiring around about uh my whereabouts and what I'm going to do. And I'd like for y'all to hear it from me and not uh, from anyone else. Um, it is what it is. Either in coaching, you get elevated or you get terminated. I think that right there sums it up. In coaching, you get elevated or you get terminated. That's the the, the, the move that he's kind of looking at this from, right? The I perspective. Mean, no, wait a minute, though. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Let's so was clear. he right? <laughs> he was he was not in danger of being terminated. I mean, he's right about that. You know what I mean? You get elevated or you get terminated. But, uh, yeah, he, I don't think he was in danger of being terminated, was he? I don't think so either. I don't think so. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think so either. I think what he's just trying to say is just like, yo, let me leave on a high note. Right. Strike right. while the iron's hot. Strike while the iron's hot. Strike while the iron's hot. Yeah. So what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. Was Dion right? He's saying that he's striking while the iron is hot. Mr. Primetime himself. You know how, how it goes. Leave on top, right? Was he right by leaving on top? Um, one, some of the other things I heard is that he took a pay cut at JSU in order to give his coaching staff a better salary, right? I also heard, not sure how true this is, but that he gave $2 million of his own personal <clears throat> money to help JSU's facilities, right? So was he right? <laughs> is it now time to collect, right? You know, you came in, you turned the program around, and now it's time to leave? Those are the, are, are, are the thoughts and the sentiments that are going on right now. Um, so what do, you, what do you think about that, bro? So, so what's the argument? Like, 
playing devil's advocate, if, if you're on the side of right, what's right about this situation? Um, what's right about this is it's a great career move for him. All right. Okay. The guy's moving up in salary. Um, okay. He's moving up to a, another, you know what I mean, division of sports in his coaching career. You know what I mean? You don't know what his personal goals are as far as a coach. You know what I mean? And being a coach. You know, and then on the other end, man, like I said, I understand like the whole separation thing. I think people want, they wanted the, it was great to have a champion, you know what I mean? For HBCUs, somebody right. to champion that, to come back. And not only anybody, this is a superstar, you know what I mean? Like we love Dion, everybody loves, you know, he's that dude. So, you know, it brings a whole nother level and a vibe to, those homecomings and you know what I mean? Just the whole, you know, the atmosphere. When you have somebody like that in your presence. And so, Indeed. yeah. And so, uh, but yeah, man, it's time he has to elevate. And I don't think, you know, like I said, we, we wanted that champion, but it's not his responsibility alone to do that. I think he go. left a great blueprint I think he made a great example of what that looks like. And even after right. he did it, you saw a lot of other things happen with HBCUs being in the spotlight after right. that. You know what I mean? Over hold the on, last hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Let's, let's look at this clip. I think this clip is hilarious, right? Uh, to that point that you were just making, this clip is hilarious. That's right. I stayed here for you guys. I missed out on $80 million, but it's all about HBCU, not me or my family. And you guys should never, ever take a pay increase. Stay at that job. Be loyal. That's right. <laughs> That's yeah. hilarious. To that point, it's like, what do you, what do you want him to do? <laughs> like, stay there forever, right? right. And how many people have, have taken that approach and stayed in a place right stayed in a place when they should have been left they should have been moved on and they should have been taking their or taking their talents elsewhere all right, right. <laughs> and i don't think that that means that you know that community totally loses him you understand i think that what that means is that he you know he's already showed his alliance his allegiance you know what i mean in that space already he can go off somewhere make a bigger salary come back and make an even bigger impact you know what i mean he don't have to you know he doesn't have to do it in the same capacity he may just do summer camps he may right. just do you know you, you don't know you know what i mean get a guy a chance to grow but he's already shown his allegiance and alliance with you know hbcus you know what i mean right. very so, respectable notable move when nobody else is really doing that Exactly, and and plenty of people could. That's that's my thing too. So so switching speed a little bit, like, was Dion wrong? What was wrong about this situation? Right, my initial knee jerk reaction when I heard the news, especially, 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 <laughs> go, having gone to an HBCU. My knee-jerk reaction was like, no, nah. <laughs> like, come on, bro. So, so what 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 feels wrong about this is all of those things, like the reciprocal of all of those things that you just mentioned, right? Especially like we went to HBCUs and like to know the plight and know the um just all of the issues, right? The lack of funding the lack of notoriety, the lack of attention, right? That's, that's placed on the school. Um, that's the part I think that a lot of people kind of feel, I wouldn't say betrayed, but they they, they kind of feel like, oh, come on, bro. Like, yeah, like, it hurt. <laughs> it hurt. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it hurt. Like you were saying earlier, it feels like, uh, you know, your, your friend is moving, you know what I'm saying, out of town. It's like, come on, bro. Like, you really just go. Yeah. Yeah, what about the squad? You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. so that, that's, that was my initial reaction to it. And here, here's another clip that I found really, really funny. Um, real quick, I'm going to just drop this in here. But, you know, 
the the question of culture right comes comes into play where you know at a hbcu you got the band you got the fans you got all of these dynamics that will be different right at colorado university they're giving my theme music. <laughs> hey. they're giving my I found that I found that hilarious. Um, but it's but it's the truth, right? You know how what what'll be interesting is how prime time, right, brings that that limelight to Colorado University. You know what I mean? Man. And, those those two cultures it'll be interesting to see how they mesh man listen dion is a game changer period you saw it you know what i mean that was that was the thing period when he entered the nfl he was a game changer by the game by himself he's a game changer he changes the culture of where he goes. He's not a type of, he's not going to show up and then the band be like, dur, 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 dur. <laughs> he's going to change the game when he gets there, man. He's a game changer. You know what I mean? And that's why they, that's why he's so valuable. Take note of that. Right. Take note of that. While he is here. the culture. He brings the culture. Right. You know what I mean? Exactly. And, and I mean, take note the of the, the value, you know, where, you know, he could basically be in a bidding war. You know what I mean? Essentially, you know, so right. he, you know, he's valuable, but it's because of that he's a game changer. He's valuable. It's so, so, so yeah, like I was saying, my, my initial reaction was like, "Oh man, come on, don't leave the HBCU." But then my yeah. second reaction was like, "Why Colorado University? If anything, go to like Florida State." go to you know so one of these really like established schools and and show what you can do there you know what i mean and maybe it's not fair maybe that wouldn't be fair because these places already get like the top recruits and stuff like that but that was my second reaction like why colorado university you know like i've never heard of colorado university didn't know they had you know uh even a football team um but you know, looking at their facilities, looking at their school and stuff like that, it, it seems like it, it's a great move for them. Um, and what they're cutting them a check for like five million. So, you know, that's that's pretty dope, right? Um, I wouldn't have turned it down <laughs> either. So was he right? Was he wrong? Who knows, man? Let's stop judging people so hard and until we walk a day in, in, in their shoes and that's impossible, right? We could never be him, never know what's actually going on through his head. Any last thoughts, brother? Uh, I could talk about this all day, man. <laughs> right. <laughs> but no, nah, you summed it up. He's not right nor wrong, guys. You know what I mean? It is just that. You know what I mean? Congratulate people when they on their way up. All right. And it's not his job to champion the culture by itself. All right. Other people step up and fill the void. All right, let's do our part. Right. That's it. That's know? it. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, check us out. Stay focused, stay humble, and go get it. Signing off. League of Hustlers. <laughs>